and prevent others from taking advantage. In the end, however, Jappy only manages to achieve his goal by means of a trick. He abducts the alpha cow, Clarissa. While many of the inhabitants of the valley spend the night hours asleep, this is the time of the real desert dwellers. The Namib sand gecko is only active at night. In the darkness, the little predator looks for crickets and spiders. Like a frog's, its toes are webbed. This enables the lizard to seemingly fly across the dunes without sinking into the sand. But it also needs to be on the lookout. sidewinding adder. Similar to desert elephants, beetles and geckos, the snake has a hard life in the Namib. It has to hunt successfully to survive. Once it finds a good spot for an ambush, it goes to ground. The snake is a predator that lies in wait for its prey, relying completely on its camouflage. For the sensitive gecko, it's time to go. In the sun, it would quickly dehydrate. Here, too, webbed feet come in handy. The lizard uses its legs as scoops to quickly dig out astonishing underground passages. It can make tunnels one meter long into the ground. Here, it's safe. Up at ground level, another gecko isn't in quite such a hurry. With good reason. The fog is coming. The lizard's large, mirror-like eye surfaces allow the fog to condense here. At last, water. The waiting paid off. This morning, the sidewinding adder can have breakfast and get some liquid into the bargain. The Namibian winter is coming to an end, and with it, the mild climate brought by the fog. Relentless heat descends on the Huanin Valley. 40 degrees Celsius in the shade, this is approaching the limit for even Clarissa's family. Elephants don't sweat, 
and so protect themselves against overheating by fanning their ears. But it seems too hot even for that. The heat is hard to bear for all the animals, but for the youngest, the sun can be lethal. Maya is really suffering. One tusk mobilizes all his efforts for one last attempt at an anna tree. But he no longer has the strength. Exhausted, he withdraws to the shade. During his long life, his legs have carried him more than 400,000 kilometers. As with most bull elephants, the last few steps he will take alone. Despite the heat, Clarissa can't afford to take a break. She urges her family to move on. Desert elephants have to spend up to 20 hours a day eating 200 kilos of plant material. As tiring as that may be, Clarissa's family have no choice. One young bull is already so exhausted that he sleeps through the signal to move off. He only wakes up when the other elephants are already out of sight. <laughs> 